Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, um, determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So, press pause and have a go. So, to do this, well, there, there are lots of ways of doing this. One way is to use a limit comparison test. So, uh, so looking at this, as n heads towards infinity, uh, this thing here will act as, as this. Because, um, because as n heads towards infinity, um, n is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then you're adding a, a minute amount to, to this thing. So this thing here will act as n squared, will act as n squared. This thing here will act as n squared. You square root the n squared, that will be n, and then you times n, so that will be n squared. So you've got 1 over n squared. Well, the point is, as n heads towards infinity, this thing here will act as this. So, so with the limit comparison test, we are going to compare this with this. So with the limits comparison test, you are trying to investigate this series. You are trying to investigate this series. Um, so you should compare it with something that you know about. You know that this is going to converge because we've seen this many times. Um, so 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 uh, so with, with the limits comparison test, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will act as this. So we are going to compare this with uh, with this thing here. So. With the limit comparison test, we always need to compute this value here. Well, computing this value, a n divided by b n. So a n divided by b n. So uh, a n. So a n. A n. This is a n divided by b n, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of b n, which is this thing here. So now tidy this up. Um, so tidy this up. So uh, so n n squared. Well, this n will cancel out with one of the n's at the top. That will then give you this. And then you're trying to compute the limit as n tends to infinity. Well, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will act as n squared. And then you, you've, you've got to square root it. Square root n squared. So it will act as n. So you've got, so you've got, um, n over n. Uh, and then, and then that, the limit as n heads towards infinity will be 1. So going back to here. Going back to here, we've just computed this value here, and it equals 1. It equals 1. Well, we've just computed this value here, it equals 1. 1 is not 0, so, so, so we can forget about this scenario. We've just computed this value here, and it equals 1. Well, 1 is not infinity, so we can forget about this. Well, we've just computed this value, and it, it, and it equals 1. Well, 1 is bigger than, uh, than 0. So this is our scenario here. We now need to consider this as opposed to these two. So, uh, so because now we are because of this, we are now in this scenario. So, so this scenario is saying that um, they, they they will both they will both converge or they will both diverge. Well, our, our B N here, we, we are trying to investigate A N. We are trying to investigate this thing here. We know nothing about this, but we do know something about this. Well, because we are in this scenario, it's saying that they both converge or they both diverge. Well, we know that this is going to converge. We know that this is going to converge. Therefore, this thing must also act in the same way. So it must also converge. So after all that, this um, the, the series here, after all that, the series will converge. After all that, the series will converge. Okay.